and welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming, this time around in English, as you may already have noticed. And today I want to sh uh, show you three different games again, which will be Cat and Dog Story, Train Merger and Eyes. My name is Gerald and as always I've got a couple of different things with me, which is for instance the Arc Mouse for the mouse input. We will be using the Volvo keyboard, which is this keyboard here for the keyboard input of course. And um, of course we are going to use the smartphone, which is a Lumia 950 XL with Windows 10 Mobile on it, uh, a back cover from Moso in this case. And uh, of course it has a USB-C connector at the bottom and the USB-C connector is connected with the display dock which is standing here at the side and the display dock itself is connected with the TV as you may already have noticed here because we get this kind of desktop uh, kind of experience on the TV from the smartphone now and this is called Continuum if you want to know more about that please have a look at the corner up there and yeah uh, other than that let's start with the first game and the first game is Cat and Dog Story and Cat and Dog Story is more or less a children's story, a little bit like an IQ test or something in itself. But um, yeah, pretty nicely done and very, very um, useful for childs, I think. So let's start it just up and have a look at it. Um, what this is all about is you have to solve more or less little puzzles or little, little Whittles more or less with those two characters. So these are the two characters of this game. Um, the game is available in many many different languages. So as you can see at the moment it's German, which is Deutsch in this case. If you click on that, you can change that to a lot of different other languages. And we are in the English episode today, so we are going to play it in English. And uh, like that, I will just close this down, we don't want to rate it at the moment. And we are going to have a look at the game itself. The game itself can be played in two different modes more or less. So uh, if I click on that, you will see that there is a story mode and the mini game mode. And we are going to play the story mode first at least. And um, yeah, just let's have a look at what's going on there. So I'm going to click on this. And again, this game is more like, yeah, targeted as, at children or something, if you ask me, um, not at adults in that. But it's still a little bit nice to play, even if it's an adult, so try it out. And um, yeah, there are different, um, more or less, storylines you are going to follow here. So you can see there are a couple of them. We are just starting with the first one, which is more or less about... Um, yeah, creatures in the forest and of course it's all a little bit magical and very very much fantasy of course. And uh, as you can see we already got this little episode done, or I already uh, got that done, so I'm just going to start with the first one to show you a couple of different things. It seems to be very very long, so uh, 23 uh, steps in the first episode, but, but it really isn't that complicated or that long if you are playing it. So first off, let's have a look at that. Um, I will turn around for that. And yeah, as you can see, this is our main character. It's a cat in this case, and there's a dog too. Because of that, it's called Cat and Dog Story. And um, in the end, what you are going to do here is you are going to just to watch this at the uh, first time and let's uh, be introduced into this little part here. So uh, the cat is an inventor, the dog is a friend of the cat, I'm not sure, and uh, you are just going to click on this button to, to uh, get um, uh, to every step here. I like to travel and so I'm building a machine for traveling to magic worlds, okay. Um, oh, someone is knocking on the door, that's of course the dog now. There's the dog, and uh, the dog just is asking what's going on more or less, and uh, so um, yeah, she's telling, or the cat is telling uh, the dog that uh, what's going on. And now we have our first little mini game. This is really a very, very easy one. Just um, if you want to to tell as a cat to the dog what's going on, you have to do it with these more or less um, images up here. And the easiest way to do that is, of course, to bring them in the right order. So something like this. Just drag and drop the images in the right order. And if you are ready, click on OK. And then this little animation is going to go on and this was more or less what you had to do. 
uh, to solve this little puzzle. And then click on the next part. Doc is asking if uh, she or he can help. And um, yeah, so let's see what we can do for her. I'm not really sure if it's a girl or a guy or whatever, the cat, but doesn't matter. And uh, now you just have to uh, to fulfill more or less this puzzle with this, uh, this parts here. So try to find the one that you want to uh, put there and then just click on it. And uh, if it's the right part, it's going to be accessible, otherwise it's not. And after that, just press on the next button and you're going to go to the next one. So just try to get the right puzzle part here to the next part or to the part at the bottom, so it will be a square after that. And that's all you have to do here. Um, it's not extremely troublesome or something in general. Have to be a little bit cautious about it, but it's not really bad. And I don't think you have any kind of penalty or something if you're pressing on the wrong button. So just try to solve it and do that. Okay, so uh, the dog is invited to go with the cat to the, the magic world, more or less. So let's have a look what's going on there. The next part is, of course, this one. So just try to remember all this stuff. So a screwdriver, a toothbrush and some kind of a... I'm not even sure what that is called in, in English, sorry. And uh, so you are just selecting them, of course, and after that you are right or ready to go and you can go to the next level. And uh, like this, the story is told more or less. You already, uh, always have to do some uh, smaller tasks and then, uh, then the storyline is told to you. And um, at the start it's, it's pretty easy. And after a while you're going to get some kind of puzzles or, or little riddles, which are more or less like something you would have in an um, yeah, I don't know, an IQ test or something. It really remembers me uh, of that. As you can see, there's a timer on here, and now you should use your mouse and bring the uh, bring the guys to the right position here. This is just another labyrinth uh, play or something. So we are going to go. If you are going to go in the right, uh, wrong direction, doesn't matter much. And now you can just try to find a way to this house there. Why is there is this timer? I'm not sure about that. Maybe if you are really very, very slow or something, it's going to let you start again. But I'm not sure about that. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this was the next task. And this is more or less why I told you that uh, the... That, uh, uh, 23 capitals or whatever that was uh, we saw before so the points uh, we already got is really not much to do there because uh, we can easily place through the first capital here and we are just going to to be pretty fast with it and yeah now we have some kind of little um, what was it called gnomes here which are more or less living in the, in the forest and we are trying to get something and now we get some, uh, some riddles in here which are more or less a little bit like, yeah, I know, don't know, text task or something. So uh, he's telling you uh, more or less a sentence and you have to understand the sentence to, uh, to get the right house selected now. So I live neither in the biggest nor in the smallest house, so not those two and not in the yellow one. So the only one that is left is of course this one, so we are selecting that and going to the next part. Next gnome here, I live neither in the blue or, or uh, in the red one and not in the biggest house neither. So not that one, not that one, not the biggest house, so it seems to be this one. Uh, my house is not the rightmost one, not the smallest one and not the red one. Not that, not that. Not the smallest, so probably the peach one or whatever that was. And um, hello, first gnomes, cat and dog said. Okay, so we have more or less that solved. And uh, they are doing something, whatever that is. And here they are creating some kind of, of presence now for the fairy. And we have to find more or less where the problem in this, uh, this pattern here is. So let's see 
if we can see some kind of a pattern in this. And the pattern is more or less always alternating. So where is something not alternating? I think it's this one and if you click on that, then you solved that. And um, yeah, as I mentioned before, this is more or less little small task for children most likely. And um, you can just go on and uh, try to get the story told. And yeah, I like it pretty much for children. It's a nice little addition to the to your smartphone, I think, if you want to have some little uh, occupation more or less for your children or something. So um, let's see what this is all about. So in this case we have to find the, the suitcase that is not, not represented here at the moment or which is more or less matching the pattern and this is something you would find in the IQ test or, uh, or something like that too. So what you can see here is there are stars on it and there is of course the shape of the part. And so let's see what is going on here. So we have a star part we have a different flower part and we have this plant part or whatever that is, uh, you might want to call that. And uh, in each of these everything is different. So we need a different shape than the two we already have. And we of course need in this case the star part, otherwise it's not going to fit in. And I would say it's this one. Click on the next part and we are in the next level. Um, Storyline here, yes, I'd like to get to know the fairy, okay, uh, what is she, and now she's a beautiful, uh, the most beautiful fairy in the world, and um, the problem is, in this case, that we get a new little maze here, this is a different one, so we need to go uh, to a specific house, and we need to come by these little icons here, it's pretty easy in this case, we just have to walk there and there and there of course and then we are going to go to the fairy's house. But the fairy is not here at the moment. Because some kind of fiery dragons have, have more or less kidnapped her. So we have to get her back. Okay, so just go on. And uh, cat and dog are going to go for the next little adventure here and we'll try to solve it. And yeah, as you can see, we are in the selection of the different storylines here too, or again. And the next one would be the Fiery Dragon's Dungeon, there we would have to go to. But I think we are going to stop it here. I just think you should now understand what the game is all about and uh, that is it is more or less for your children, but uh, I like it very much. And if you want to give it uh, to one of your children to play a little bit with, I think this is a pretty good addition. And this might even uh, be a little bit educational. And so I would recommend that for everybody who wants to let their children play. Maybe, I don't know, if your, your child is eight years old or something, in that direction, that might be a good addition. Okay. So let's have a look at the second game. The second game is called Train Merger. And Train Merger is more or less a doodle game. So you are trying to, to um, put together better trains all the time. Train Merger, there we are. So a merger, doodle game, whatever you want to call that. And um, in the end it's all about making money with time. So uh, it's a nice one, I think, because there are little different uh, different additions to this game, which I really like. And um, yeah, so let's have a look at that after it has loaded. And just to let you know, if you are hearing some kind of, of picking noises or something, um, there is pretty, mu pretty uh, much rain going on outside of my window. And because of that, we are, you are going to hear that. Sorry about that. But in the end, as you can see, here is more or less a train track and we are driving with our train on this train track. And if you click on that, you are going to create different trains. And after that, you are just going to put them on each other. And uh, if, you co if you combine trains of the same part with each other, you are going to get better club trains. You are going to get information about the better trains you are going to get. For instance, this is a fairy queen in, uh, queen in India, in this case. And after that, we can just put that one on here yes. and let it drive around. And if it's driving around, you're going to earn money from that. 
So, uh, in the end, this is more or less what the game is all about. The nice additions are, for instance, that... Okay, I have to follow him for now. And the nice additions for, uh, for that are more or less that you can, for instance, put the signs to, for instance, going left, and then the train is going to go in that direction. And the second part that is going to uh, be very nice is that you are going to build buildings, more or less, uh, on the train track. And that, for instance, there are little, yeah, more or less presents which are going to be on the train track and you have to guide your, your train to collect them. So, um, for instance, if there is going to be one, I'm not sure when it, it's going to come, so we are going to buy the first other one and uh, combine those two together. After that we combine that with the two, level 2 train here and we get a level 3 train, a 3 train. And like that you can now create money for yourself and just let it run around here. Um, the higher the levels, there is one of those things I told you about, so let's see what we can do here. We of course need to guide the, the train now to the right uh, place here. And as you can see we got money from that. Sometimes you get another train, you get money from it, or there are different other things you can collect here. So just try it out. It's really nicely done somehow for such a simple game more or less. And after you collected that, that was too... Yeah, I think we will have to uh, let it run around. After a while, the presents are going to be away. But, yeah, there you see it, we can't collect it anymore. But we can, of course, get the next one. And there is more to it than just letting one of those trains going out, uh, around. Because if, for instance, you are going to set the new train you created here to that, of course, if the new train is then there, um, we are going to get... Oh. Don't know why that happened, but whatever. Then let's use this one. Go over that. We got another train here. And um, yeah, if you have, for instance, such a, uh, such a combination, you can put this one on the train track too. And it's more or less a wagon for your train then. And each and every, um, each and every train here can pull just a certain amount of uh, wagons behind him. And like that, uh, it, and like that um, the train can run around here and create more money like this. But of course, you can't combine it then anymore. Because of this, we have to create the next one and then you just uh, uh, combine those again. We did that. And then we are going to use a, com a combo in this case and go to the next level. Yeah, and this is more or less what this is all about. You're going to, uh, as mentioned before, create different tunnels in here too and stuff like that. And you're just going to let the wagon run around here and just do that. So it's really a very simple game. You don't have to stay uh, stay here all the time. You can just let it play around, uh, go around with Alexis and create money for you. And uh, after a while you're going to get bigger and better trains all the time. And uh, if you are at a certain level, you don't have to start with the first level again, like we are at the moment. So if you are buying, for instance, stuff, then you are going to get uh, more or less an, an offset. So you are maybe getting a level 2 train or level 3 train already, not the first one only. And after a while, you will see there are different other buttons here. For instance, if we click on this one, we are going to get the uh, uh, two times part, so the, the amazing. amazing. So spe uh, the speed of the uh, train is going to increase, and like that, we are going to make more money for a certain amount of time, of course. And um, then there is going to be more than that after a while. Let's see if we can create or well, if we can go to the next one too put it on there put it on there got the next combo and got the next train in this case as you can see this one can pull more wagons 
and this is more or less how many um, many wagons you can put on your your train then and now we got a second button at the right here and the second button is just more or less to buy this kind of, of um, parts at least I thought so, sorry about that. No, we have to press on it, okay? So, and after that we can just get this uh, this new tunnel more or less and use this one to even earn more money. And this is all what the game is all about. We can click on this part too. In this case you can see there are a couple of different options here. Statistics, sound, restore, purchase, so, so if you um, bought something you can, uh, can get it back and remove at. Um, I didn't see any ads till now, but if there are ads in the future, you can of course remove them there. And yeah, this is more or less what the game is all about. Very simple in its in its playing field, but if you really want to get rid of some time, this might be a good addition to your collection. Yeah, and then the last game in our mashup is Ice Set or Ice or whatever that should be called. And this is a jump and run puzzler. So it really is about uh, uh, solving different puzzles more than jumping, uh, jump and running. Um, it's very beautiful. I really, really like the the style of the um, different characters in this game and how the drawings are done and stuff like that. It really, really is very, very interesting. And there is a special mode I want to show you, which is really interesting too. So it uh, it really is about puzzle more than everything else. And um, yeah, there is this blue eyes mode, and I'm going to show you what that is all about. Okay, but first off, I have to turn around. Um, this game can't unfortunately be played with anything else than the uh, the um, than your keyboard in this case. So the Xbox One as well as controller, for instance, can't be used for that, which is a pity. I would like to use it for this, but not possible at the moment, at least. And I'm um, not sure if there should be sound. In the end, there is none at the moment. And uh, what you're going to use here is you're going to use the, the space bar. For, for instance, is going to be used to select something. You are going to use the arrow keys to do, uh, go up and down and stuff like that. Or um, you can use WASD to uh, to control your character and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, let's see what we can do here. As you can see, we can just move around through the different parts here. And um, I'm going to go to options first. It's in German. There's I think no option. Ah, there is one. Okay. Let's see. Let's put it to English then. Hopefully there is English in here. Yes, there we are. Um, I just uh, deactivated multi-touch and touch icons for this game because I'm going to play it on the screen and uh, this is not what this uh, or where I will have any kind of option to use that. And um, after that, just try to play this game for now. Instructions and stuff like that. You can of course have a look at that, but do it by yourself. We are going to go into the game just like that. There are three chapters. Um, this doesn't mean there are only three levels or something, but these are more or less really um, big packages of, of um, different, um, of different um, levels, as you can see. And here we can start with the first one just to show you how this is done. And it's really, really beautifully drawn, if you ask me. And it's more or less about a girl waking up in a very, very beautiful landscape, if you ask me. She's called Mint, and she is just waking up, of course. Okay, and here you can see how the, play, uh, the game is played. You are just going to run around. I'm going to turn down the music a little bit. You're just going to run around with your your keys here. Um, pressing up will not let you jump. I'm not sure why they did that here, or maybe they changed it in the last last second or something. Jumping is done with the spacebar in this case. So just do that, and that should work. And there you can see this little drops. I think they are may they might be tears or something. I'm not sure. Um, can be collected, 
So we just collect them and go through the different levels. And um, sooner or later you are going to be presented with this new mode. You really need that one. And it's really a nice addition to uh, those uh, different things. And as you can see, here with the flowers and stuff, you can always read what's going on. So in this case, you woke up under the curtain of yellow light. There was something familiar in the brightness had she seen this place before. And yeah, this was more or less the first level already. Very easy in this case, but there are going to be a lot um, more difficult ones. And here we get first times introduced to this blue eyes mode. And the blue eyes mode is pretty pretty interesting one. So just press J on your keyboard for that. And as you can see, there is this indication that you should now walk to one of the screen parts. And the interesting thing is that you are going to go to the other side then. For some reason or the other, the blue um, light or the blue I um, mode will just give you the ability to go to the other side of the screen no matter where it is. So uh, if it's up, down or uh, to the right, to the left, it doesn't matter. You are going always to the opposite side if you are in the blue light mode. And that is a pretty interesting thing to do. Of course, you should collect those, uh, those tiers there because uh, that will give you a better rating after the, uh, the level has ended. And I think you need a couple of them. And now, as you can see, we have here a part where more or less uh, the screen ends and there is nothing, uh, nothing that is blocking us there. And if you then enter the, the blue light mode again, uh, blue eye mode again, as you can see, we can just jump down there and go to the upper part, because it's always the opposite, as I uh, told you. So, same thing here again. And in some situations like this, you can use this, uh, or you can't use it in, at the moment, but what we can do, for instance, we can jump up. And as you can see, if you jump up and you are at the highest point, for instance, and you are going to the blue light mode then, the screen will stay where it is and the character will fall from the, uh, the sky mode after that. It's pretty amazing. As you can see, we are now falling down all the time. In this case, we are not going to use this, but we are going to go to the blue light mode. This one doesn't help us, but this one will, because we see here we want to go at this point and you have to be at the right height, for instance, to go there. Because if we're going down, it's going to give this little sound effect then and it's not going to be able to go there because there is something blocking it at the other side. But at the right height at this point, it's not going to block you. Okay, so let's jump up and go over there. And as you can see, we can now collect that go out of the blue eyes mode and now we are at the right place and this was more or less the second um, the second level of this game and uh, yeah as you can see the walls began to lean close as if they constricted her heart as well as her steps so it's really something psychological going on with this girl here I'm not sure about it but it's really a nice little game. I like the, the aesthetic of it, I like the, the puzzles it gives you for that. And um, yeah, in this case, for instance, we are blocked at the beginning, of course, but we can go out with the blue eyes mode again. Go out, then go out offset again, and go up here, collect those. And for instance, in the jump, we can do that, of course, too. And uh, after you are in the blue eyes mode, the, the screen is more or less at that state then. You, you'll watch that it's uh, further. And now we can just, for instance, try to go on here and, co for instance, collect that. After that, go out of the blue eyes mode again. And maybe jump over here. I'm not sure if we can do that at the moment then. No. Jumped in the wrong direction, then you can of course go back after a while. Mm -hmm. 
it not work out till now. But of course it's possible too. We can go to this side and I think this should work too. Yes, and we should be able, if we are going to go in the right time to the other part. Then. Go back again, press that button again and we are on that again. So we are really just switching around this blue light, blue eye mode, sorry blue eye it's called. And um, like that you can for instance go out here. Yeah, and this was the, uh, the next level. We can go to the next one again and so it's going on and on again. Um, you are going to have different um, modes in the future too, so in other capitals there uh, might be something different for you to wait for you. I'm not going to show you or tell you what it is, but just try it out. It's really a nice little jump and run game uh, with a puzzle aspect to it and I really like it and how it is done with the aesthetics of it, with how it's drawn. The storyline is nicely done too uh, for such a game and uh, just try it out. I really like it and would um, say that you should try it out too. Okay, and with that game, I'm going to go out of this game now and this was the end of the episode more or less. So thanks for, uh, for watching, thanks for listening. Uh, if you have any kind of question, please put them down in the commentary section, of course. Um, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, of course, and if you are not subscribed to now, you might want to consider that to not miss one of the other videos I'm going to upload in, yeah, more or less most of the times at Saturday. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have a nice day, have a nice week. We will see us in the next episode again in the next week, and so thanks for watching, and bye. Bye!